I thank Dr. Morrison Dakoyate for his statement. I now give the floor to the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Her Excellency Amina Mohammed, to make a statement on behalf of the Secretary General. Excellencies, the 2020 Prize Laureates, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really pleased to be with you today and to represent the Secretary General and deliver his remarks on his behalf as we celebrate Nelson Mandela International Day. And his message is, today the world honors a giant of our time, a leader of unparalleled courage and towering achievement, and a man of quiet dignity and deep humanity. Nelson Mandela was a healer of communities and a mentor to generations. He remains a moral compass and a reference to us all. Madiba walked the path to freedom and dignity with steely determination and with compassion and love. He showed that each and every one of us has the ability and responsibility to build a better future for all. Our world today is marred by war, overwhelmed by emergencies, blighted by racism, discrimination, poverty and inequalities, and threatened by climate disaster. Let us find hope in Nelson Mandela's example and inspiration in his vision. Today and every day, let us honor Nelson Mandela's legacy by taking action, by speaking out against hate and standing up for human rights, by embracing our common humanity, rich in diversity, equal in dignity, united in solidarity, and by together making our world more just compassionate, prosperous, and sustainable for all. Excellencies, this was the message of the Secretary General. Dear friends, what an amazing feeling it is after virtual commemorations over the past two years that we can be together in person to pay tribute in this august General Assembly Hall, the very place Madiba spoke to us after his long walk to freedom. On a personal note, Madiba has been an inspiration for me ever since I was a young child in Nigeria, trying to find my path. Since then, Mama Grasa and Selo Hatang, through the Nelson Mandela Foundation, keep the fire under our feet on the many issues that Nelson Mandela Madiba embodied. I've taken to heart his profound lesson that we all have the ability and responsibility to take action, that there is no us and them, we are in this together, carrying a shared responsibility to, prefer to preserve our common home and stand in solidarity with one another. All over the world, there are people who follow in Madiba's footsteps with that same stubborn optimism that defined him. I would like to acknowledge two of those such people today that we were able and honored to give the laureates of the 2020 Nelson Mandela Prize. Miss Mariana Vardinoyanis of Greece, and her decades-long fight against childhood cancer, and Dr. Morisana Koyate of Guinea for his quest to end female genital mutil mutilation. COVID restrictions have not allowed one of our, uh, one of our colleagues to, to travel to New York, but we're really pleased to hear the statement of Morisana Koyate today, and we congratulate you both. The Nelson Mandela Prize is guided by the purpose and principles of our United Nations and the promise of the ideals that were championed by Madiba. We work towards his vision of peace, dignity, equality on a healthy planet, every day, everywhere, ensuring that we leave no one behind. Our SDG advocate, representing persons with disabilities, or I would like to say special abilities, uh, is from South Africa, and Eddie Ndopu, we welcome you into these halls today as you continue to inspire us. Our best tribute to Madiba is to realize the promise of the Sustainable Development Goals, to stand in solidarity against hate, and to work for peace and prosperity and human rights for all on Mandela Day and every day. In Madiba's wise words, it only seems impossible until it is done. Thank you for your attention. I thank the Deputy Secretary General for her statement. I now